Hey there, today I want to talk about something that's been a game changer for me and could be for you too, dev containers. You know that feeling when you join a new project and spend hours setting up your development environment or when you switch between projects and something breaks because of different versions. Well, that's where dev containers come in to save the day. Think of dev containers as your perfect pre-packed development environment that you can spin up in seconds. It's like having a separate isolated workspace for each project that's already configured with all tools and dependencies you need. Why dev containers are awesome? They give you a consistent development environment across your team. You can start coding right away without spending time on setup. No more but it works on my machine problems. Easy to switch between different projects without conflict. In this video I will show you how to set up a dev container for an Astro project. Astro is this cool static site generator that's been gaining popularity and combining it with dev containers make for a super smooth development experience. We will cover setting up VS Code with a dev container extension, creating a necessary configuration files, configuring our container for Astro development and testing everything works correctly. Let's dive in and make your Astro development experience a whole lot better. Before we start, I want to mention that I already have a basic Astro app created. If you need help creating one, check our Astro's excellent documentation for getting started. I have also installed the dev container extension in VS Code. It's a must-have for this setup. You can find it in the VS Code Marketplace by searching for dev containers. First, let's create the Docker Compose YAML file in the root directory of your project. This file will define how our development container should behave. Let's break it down line by line. Services. This is where we define our container services. We are calling our main service dev container. Build. This tells Docker how to build our container. Context points to where our Docker related files are. Docker file specifies which Docker file to use. Volumes. This is super important. It maps our local project directory to slash app in the container. This means any changes we make uh, locally instantly appears in the container. Command slip infinity keeps our container running. Without this, it would start and stop immediately. Restart always. Make sure our container automatically restarts if something goes wrong. Ports map port 43 to 1 for our container to the same port on our host machine. This is the default port Astro uses so we'll able to see our app in the browser. Now let's create our docker file dev container inside the dev container folder. First make sure to create this folder in your project's root directory. Here's our docker file. Let's understand what each line does. From node 22 broke worm slim, this is our base image. We are using a slim version of Node 22 based on Debian Bookworm. It's lightweight but has everything we need for Node.js development. The second line updates the package list, installs the SSH client, which is useful for Git operation. Uh, the Y flag automatically answers yes to prompts. This minimal setup gives us everything we need to run our Astro application in container. Finally, let's create our dev container JSON file. This file configures how VS Code interacts with our dev container. Let's break down the key parts of this configuration. Name simply identifies our dev container as Astro. 
docker compose file and service points to our docker compose yaml file and specify which service to use. Workspace folder sets the default path where VS code will open in the container. Extension automatically installs the Astro and Tailwind VS code extension in our container. Remote user sets the default user in the container to node to better security. Features add git support to our container. Mounts maps our local SSH to the container for git operation. Post create command automatically runs npm install where the container is created. With these three files, docker compose yammer docker file dev container and the container json, in place we now have a complete dev container setup for our Astro project. Now that we have our configuration file set up, let's start our dev container. Press Command Shift P on Mac or Ctrl Shift P on Windows Linux to open the command palette. Type dev containers, rebuild and reopen in container and select it. VS Code will now build the dev container based on our configuration, reopen our project inside the container, install all specified extensions, uh, run npm install as specified in postgrade command. You will know you are inside the container when you see dev container astro in the bottom left corner of VS Code. Before starting the dev server, we need to modify our astro config file to ensure our app is accessible from outside the container. Add these server settings. This configuration tells Astro to listen on all network interfaces and use port 431 which match our docker port mapping. Now you can start your Astro development server by running npm run dev. Your Astro app should now be accessible at localhost 431. Any changes you make to your code will be reflected immediately just like a regular local development environment. And there you have it, we have successfully set up a dev container for our Astro project. This setup will make your development process much smoother and more consistent. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more development tips and tricks. Drop a comment below if you have any question or suggestion for future topics. Thanks for watching and happy coding!